ever wonder if insecurities can ruin a relationship? Let's delve into a story of a 30-year-old woman and her 26-year-old boyfriend. Our leading lady, a woman in her prime, is caught in a whirlwind romance with a younger man. Their love story, albeit a few months old, is riddled with more than its fair share of ups and downs. The boyfriend, a young man of 26, is painted in shades of insecurity. He wears his vulnerability like a second skin, a silent testament to a past marred by betrayal. Trapped in the shadows of his past, he's a victim of infidelity not once, but twice. His mother, the first woman in his life, cheated on his father. And then, a lover, perhaps the one he thought was the one, cheated on him too. The specter of betrayal haunts this young man, casting a long, dark shadow over his present. Our heroine, the 30-year-old woman, is nothing if not resilient. She recognizes his insecurities, and instead of turning away, decides to work with him. She becomes his confidant, his safe haven, the one person he can trust in a world that has proven untrustworthy too many times. She tries to help him navigate through his insecurities, to find a way to trust again, to believe in love again. But patience, as they say, has its limits. She begins to feel the strain of his insecurities, the constant doubts, the incessant questions. A casual dinner with an old flame turns into a battlefield. A simple question about past partners becomes a litmus test of her loyalty. The boyfriend's insecurities, once a silent specter, now loom large and menacing, threatening to swallow their relationship whole. Insecurities can truly test a relationship, but to what extent can one tolerate them? Imagine having a peaceful dinner that ends up in a fight. A glimpse into the past can sometimes trigger unexpected reactions. Such was the case on one seemingly ordinary evening. Our protagonist, a 30-year-old woman, ran into an old flame from 15 years prior. A harmless encounter, one might think. But not for her current boyfriend who, despite his tender age of 26, carried the weight of betrayal in his heart. His past had been tainted with infidelity, a cruel lesson learned when his own mother cheated on his father. This past pain, unhealed and raw, reared its ugly head at the sight of his girlfriend's ex. A harmless dinner had quickly spiraled into an emotional battlefield. His insecurity, now at the forefront, led him to question her about her past romantic relationships. He even went so far as to admit he was judging her for her past. A bold claim indeed. Her response was as straightforward as it was poignant. She could ask about his past, but she simply didn't care about what he did before they met. This incident, a simple dinner turned sour, served as a painful reminder of the scars that insecurity can leave. It showcased a man so consumed by his own insecurities that he allowed them to cloud his judgment and tarnish his present relationship. Past relationships, while they shape us, should not define our present. But what happens when they do? Scene script. Can a past one-night stand come back to haunt a relationship? Let's find out. Imagine a calm evening where the topic of conversation takes an unexpected turn. The boyfriend, already on edge due to past insecurities, innocently asks if his girlfriend has ever been involved with any of her brother's friends. She, valuing honesty above all else, admits to a one-time encounter with a family friend, someone she has known for over 20 years. But this confession doesn't sit well with the boyfriend. His insecurities flare up, and he starts judging her again. He criticizes her for having a one-night stand and for being involved with her brother's friend. He seems to overlook the fact that these events occurred before they even knew each other. What's more, no one else, including her brother, seems to care about this incident. It's just the boyfriend who can't seem to let go of the past. His judgment is not just directed at her actions, but also at her character, further straining their relationship. His comment, you were having one night stands at 30 years old seriously, not only reflects his judgmental nature, but also his age-related insecurities. It's as if he's saying that by 30, she should have been too old to be having sexual encounters. When past actions, taken before the current relationship, become a point of contention, it can lead to further strain. A number that should not matter in a relationship is age, yet it often becomes a point of conflict. In our story, the age factor takes on a rather bitter taste. Our woman, who is four years older than her boyfriend, is caught off guard when he uses her age as a weapon to insult her. The incident occurs when he questions her about past relationships, specifically if she's ever had a fling with any of her brother's friends. 
When she admits to a one-time occurrence, he reacts negatively, even going so far as to judge her for having a one-night stand at the age of 30. His remark, laced with disdain and judgment, leaves her stunned. It's as if he's implying there's an expiry date for sexual activities, and 30 is apparently over the hill. His words echo a disturbing perspective, one that is not just immature, but also misogynistic. It's as if he's saying a woman of 30 should be retired from the game of love and desire, which is not just absurd, but also offensive. Our woman, not one to take such an insult lightly, responds in the most fitting way. She tells him to get up and leave her house. A simple yet powerful action that speaks volumes about her self-respect and unwillingness to tolerate such behavior. She sends a clear message that she will not allow her age or any other aspect of her life to be used as a tool for insult or judgment. The boyfriend's attempt to use the age factor as a weapon backfires spectacularly. It not only leads to his expulsion from her house, but also further highlights his deep-seated insecurities. In doing so, it also raises a crucial question. Is this an isolated incident or a recurring pattern? Age should never be a weapon in a relationship, but what if it becomes one? If it does, it's a red flag that should not be ignored. For when age becomes a point of contention, it's usually a sign of deeper issues lurking beneath the surface. When a relationship is riddled with insecurities, is there a way out? This is the question that now looms over the woman's mind. She's caught in a whirlwind of doubt, frustration, and the unsettling feeling of being constantly judged. And she's not alone. Her friends and a chorus of voices online echo her concerns, adding to the cacophony of opinions that besiege her. A commenter named Dr. Barologist puts it bluntly, this is way too much BS to put up with after only a couple of months. This sentiment is echoed by another user, throwaway ye 66782, who agrees, expressing their unwillingness to tolerate such behavior. The reactions continue to pour in, each one a harsh reminder of the reality of the situation. Midnight Slip weighs in, advising her to distance herself from the guy, stating that age has nothing to do with respect and understanding in a relationship. Unusual Potato, 1515 labels him as immature, suggesting that unless he seeks help, his insecurities and behavior will continue to alienate women. Lilith Wasa Jinger goes a step further, branding him as toxic and urging the woman to run. Guntanome points out the importance of taking responsibility for one's shortcomings, and Watermelon Warlock highlights the irony of the boyfriend's belief that therapy doesn't work, suggesting that such a mindset is counterproductive to change. Karazine and JPK36 both suggest she ends the relationship, arguing that it's unlikely to improve and questioning why she's with someone who's constantly judging her. In the face of such overwhelming consensus, the woman is left with a stark choice. Should she continue to endure the turmoil of the relationship, or should she heed the advice of friends and strangers alike and leave? Insecurities can be worked on, but not if they're continuously used as a weapon. The decision, ultimately, lies in the hands of the one holding the weapon. The aftermath of this situation will undoubtedly be a turning point in the woman's life, a moment of reckoning that could shape her future relationships. Insecurities can be a normal part of a relationship, but when does it cross the line? This is a question we've explored today, through a personal story that's all too familiar for some. We've seen how unchecked insecurities can lead to unfounded accusations, needless arguments, and ultimately, a strain on the relationship. It's important to remember that everyone has a past, and it's not our place to judge, but rather to understand and accept. Insecurity, when allowed to fester, can erode the bedrock of trust and respect that a relationship is built upon. It's crucial to deal with our insecurities constructively, through open communication, therapy, or self-reflection. It's equally essential to stand our ground when faced with unfair judgment or criticism. In the end, a relationship should be about growing together, not growing apart. Remember, a relationship should be about mutual respect and understanding, not about judging or criticizing each other's past. Well guys, while we traverse the world of relationships, there will be a point in time where we might battle with jealousy and insecurities. However, we should always do our best not to allow it to hurt our relationships. While seeking information about the past may not be a bad thing, 
many of us may not be able to handle what we find out. Nevertheless, ladies, please note that while a woman cares about a man's future, a man cares about a woman's past. Hence, the obsession some guys have for women's past. Remember, a good foundation leads to a bright future and a bright future comes from a good foundation. With that said, thank you for watching. Please smash the subscribe button for more ins and outs of relationships and how human nature affects them. Catch you in the next one, love.